All right, what's up guys? Here's another quick video. This is from the uh, vacant house data feed. Just want to give you a quick reminder that this is here. <laughs> this really works. Really, really works. <clears throat> here I go. Coming right up in here and let's just put a street in because this can be narrowed down by streets. I'm going to come back down to uh, Wayne County here. Wayne County is the biggest county in Michigan, and you can do this wherever. So let me think of one of the... streets down there. And this is a historic area. Let's put it in. All of the properties are lined up right there that are vacant. I can... Let's see how many... 65 of those right there <clears throat> because that is a historic area i'm just going to include the condos i'm going to include everything probably won't be any mobiles or modulars i'm going to take out you know i'm going to even leave the bank owns in there this time entity owned that's a business other investors corporate llc trust owned out of state owners include that matching addresses include that we're going to include everything all right just going to take off the properties that are over leveraged there we don't really need those I'm going to leave these. Uh, I typically, what I typically do is I'll come up to about uh, maybe 85% LTV. That means that they're going to be free and clear. I like for someone to have owned the property for at least five years. It's just my particular number. Square footage, you don't have to mess with any of that. Minimum one bed. We're just going to go ahead on and see what happens. Uh, you know what? I don't really want a minimum one bed. We'll do two right there. So now we've just set the filters and let's see what happens now if we do another search. So we went from 65 properties there to, oh wow, what? 626. <laughs> All right, let me go and take some stuff out. Okay, so we don't want the condos. We don't want the modulars. We don't want the bank owns. So you just exclude, see right over here on the excluded side. Out-of-state owners, we want those. Matching addresses. Matching address means that they were the last identified as uh, being in that property. So for right now, let's just take it out, exclude it. And the ones that have no phone numbers, let's still keep it in because we can send them letters. If they're over-leveraged, no, we don't want that. Let's go to 90% free and clear, all the way to free and clear. And uh, maybe even take it to three bedrooms, right? So let's see what happens when we hit search now. So it brings us down to a nice attainable list. You see a new property right there that's just popped up. Uh, know a lot about them. Okay, we know a lot about that right there. And uh, you got your properties there, right? Print your list off and uh, keep it moving. Do what you got to do. Okay, just want to go inside of one of these properties. I want to find someone who really is uh, out of state over here. Let's look at that. So let's find someone who's out of Michigan. Uh, Columbus, Ohio. I want it further away. Michigan. Uh, let's just say Texas. This guy right here is in Texas. They brought it for 35 or say it's worth 40 59 So what we do is we come over here, go into the detail, property details. Click on that. It's going to bring us up the properties. We can see a map and everything, have their address, their mailing address. So you want to send them the mailer, you can do that. Properties, three beds, one bath, 1,018 square feet. But what I really want you to see is if I continue to scroll down and I hit load more, watch what happens. It's going to show me where the properties are, but watch this. What do you have here? Cash buyers near the area, right? Shows you what they paid for their property, so we can send letters to them. Once again, everything you need between this real flow and uh, vacant house data feed. Come on, come on, guys, seriously. Right. If you can't find the person, remember there's a skip trace portion of this inside of the vacant house data feed where you can actually pay for them to skip trace and track down who you want. So, you know, if you have a bunch of mail that's come back to you, you could use it. 
Also over here, private lenders, right? What do we have there? Private lenders. Have the addresses of private lenders there. All right. Private lenders. Come on now. They just loaned in December. I'm sorry, January. So everything you need is right here. You don't have to go outside of here. I'm telling you, everything you need is right here. All right. So hopefully you'll see this and maybe you'll go ahead on and send some letters and get your private lenders, get your cash buyers. Got comparables over here, which is based off of Zillow, but whatever. All right. So just wanted to show you those things. Hopefully this will add some spark. All right. We want to take out the old spark plugs. Let's renew this thing. All right. Let's keep some good high energy going. Get your goals written down and know that everything you need is here. And I'm always a phone call or an appointment away. Talk to you soon.